Oni is in a whole new trouble because his only friend, the person that he trusted the most, the person he saw and said, yes, I will help you do all of these things, help him in everything, single thing that he's doing. He has finally backed out, which is now making it very hard for Oni to believe. He doesn't even know what to do next. He doesn't know what exactly he can do. He is now feeling like as if all of these things were not made for him. All these things were not what he wanted. But he can't do anything about the situation. He can't do any single thing at all. He is feeling like as if the world is about to shatter right now. How is his dreams going to be completed? Because this is going to be a very hard task for him. It is going to be very, very hard for him because as of now, eh, Oni can't picture anything he can do now. Oni can picture anything he can plan to do to make the situation even a better one for him. He can't even plan anything at all because this is where it ends. He doesn't even know whether he's going to be in the right position or not. He doesn't even know how to accept all of these things. This thing just came to him as a flash. But as a man, he has to react to all of these things, no matter what exactly is happening. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we'll bring you top cheese from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Deji of Akure has finally told Oni that he is not going to continue with the help he's giving to him to Queen Naomi. It is going to be a very, very big thing for him. It is going to be a very huge thing because this is the part. This is the important place whereas Oni has finally realized. Oni doesn't even know whether he is going to survive. Not because he doesn't know what to do next, but because who will be there to support him? Who is going to be there to support him through everything? Through every single thing that he does? Now is the time for him to know that yes, if at all all of these things are not going well, if at all everything has not been playing out as he has planned, then it is because of these things. It is because of all of these things that has been happening. Every single thing from the beginning to the end. Now it is looking like as if Oni is the only one left in this race. Oni is the only one they have left. Because this race is something that Oni and Digi of Akure took upon themselves when Queen Naomi left the palace. But now that Queen Naomi has left and Oni now doesn't have anywhere to go. Oni doesn't even know what exactly he should do next. Because he is now double crossed. He's now feeling like he doesn't even need anybody again. He's feeling like as if he doesn't know what to do again. The matter is very harsh on Oni because Oni has been planning for a very long time how he's going to be with Queen Naomi, things that they are going to do together, all of those certain things. But now look at where it's ending. Now look at how it is going for Oni. Oni doesn't even know whether he should trust anybody again or not because this is the most hardest part of his life. This is the most hardest part of his life because getting some backing out when you are when you guys have gone so far, when you have done so much together, when you guys have planned a lot of schemes in bringing back Queen Naomi, all of those things were going down perfectly. But the reason behind what the Giovacura is doing now is unknown to us. It is very unknown to us because as it is, eh, Oni doesn't even know whether he should continue being friends with the Giovacura or not. Because it came as a shock to him. And as a normal person, you have to react no matter what the consequences may be. No matter what exactly may happen. He has to react to it no matter what is going on. If not, if not, I don't know what is going to happen to him again. I don't know how he's going to react. Everybody is now thinking, what exactly will Oni do? What is Oni's mind now? What is in his mind? Let us know what is happening. Let us know what is going on. Why is it that Oni now has been betrayed again by his own friend? Of course, the Jovakure will have some certain reasons why he's doing all of these things. Because all of these, they are not just normal. All of these things are not just normal. They can't just come out. You can't just come out from the blue and say, uh, I don't want to help you again. It is not normal. Yes, it isn't. You are hearing it from me. It is not normal. 
Everybody has been complaining. What is the main thing? Why is it that the Jehovah Kure is doing this? Of course, you will have a specific reason. Everybody has specific reasons on why exactly they do things. The, the job Akira is meant to have too. Because he needs to explain why exactly he's going to back out from all of these things that him and Oni has planned. All of this succession that they have brought together. From all of this trouble, all this drama that, it has, that has been brought to them. They have scaled through it. Why is it that this certain time he is ready to say he's not doing again? He doesn't want to help Oni again. That Oni, Oni, is not, Oni is not willing. What is it? Oni now should be very heartbroken because ways to bring out Queen Naomi now, it will be very hard. If the chances with the job Akure was 9 out of 10, now exactly, it is going to be less. It is going to be very less because no one to help Oni again. Nobody to help Oni. These Oloris are not useful to him. They don't provide him with the love and support he actually wants. Which is now, which is, which is even making him very, very weakened because he doesn't know what to do again. He doesn't know what exactly he can do again. He's already tired. That is the true fact about Oni. Oni is tired. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section. Goodbye, y'all.